Hey everyone, um, I haven't done videos for a while, so here's to come back. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a little different process and method for um, creating uh, my illustrations. Um, I do a lot of different styles, I guess, and that's always probably confusing to um, some people, but I find it really works out for myself. I get clients from different uh, places, and sometimes, you know, they come to me for a certain look, uh, and then that, that just broadens my range and my range of jobs as well, because um, it gives me freedom um, to put a new look out there, to be uh, experimental, and also um, to get different types of clients. So it's something I've struggled with a lot, um, but I, I think I've more or less come to the end of my struggle, and I'm just uh, excited to create illustrations in whatever way I can. Um, so that's, uh, that's what I'm doing here. I've done um, a lot of this recently. I find it is, it's fast. It's easy and, well, easier than uh, painting a full traditional painting uh, by far. Um, and it gives a nice look. It's a traditional pencil, uh, as you see here, I'm drawing, and um, digital colors, and uh, the digital colors look uh, traditional as well, I suppose, um, because of the very fine brushes by Kyle T. Webster that everyone should know and have and use. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not um, slowed me down at all. Um, this illustration is also a um, an exciting thing. I am launching a course on the Lamppost Guild, uh, and this is the course cover. Um, and if you guys don't know what the Lamppost course is, uh, Lamppost Guild is, um, I am happy to tell you. <laughs> uh, it's something that started. Um, I think there was a Kickstarter in 2012, and then it launched uh, in 2013. And it's an online uh, platform for um, illustrators to teach and um, for aspiring artists and illustrators to um, obviously learn. Uh, and the founding kind of authors and teachers were um, Corey Godby, uh, Justin Gerard, and Chris Coley. And um, you should definitely look up all those guys. They are awesome. Um, they are... Um, largely the reason why I'm doing illustration. Um, and I didn't take, I didn't take the lamppost skill from them, uh, when it came out, but I was following them as a, as a younger person, um, on social media and, and, um, I knew about their work. And so those guys, it's, it's really interesting that I have the opportunity to, um, just be sharing what I've learned, uh, from, from them and from others and um, in the same space. Uh, so really exciting for me. And um, I, I'm excited to share uh, some stuff with uh, all of you. Um, and I, I really hope you guys um, can check it out at least. Um, and uh, it is, the course specifically is called How to Work From Home. And um, and that's kind of something really close to um, close to me in my, in my heart uh, to share because it was something that um, I mean to to use the the sort of visual image that I'm drawing here is the sort of elephant in the room I guess for myself um, when I went to college and then when I graduated uh, you know the elephant in the room is you know do you have a job <laughs> or where are you going to be working and and the and the truth is, you're going to be working from your home. Um, and that was something definitely not something that uh, ran in my family, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial uh, nature and um, sensibilities. So it's definitely something I learned um, the harder way, I think, than uh, just having it sort of passed down to me. So now I want to, um, in this course, I want to uh, open that up, uh, to, uh, you all and to whoever takes this course, open my experience up and, um, get conversations started about, um, how to work from home. Um, so we'll be talking about things like schedule and, um, and your office culture and, uh, your office space, 
Um, and I can't wait to get it started. Uh, it'll be maybe a couple more weeks till it finally launches, but you can go to uh, my website and click on the um, new page that I've got. It's called Education, uh, and you can go down to this course, uh, How to Work From Home. Uh, it's the only course on there, so you should be able to find it. Uh, and uh, sign up for the email notification, um, and it's uh, and as soon as it launches, we will send you um, the information, and we'll also send you a discount code. Um, so please check that out. Uh, I'll put a link down at the bottom of this video. And um, yeah, so I, I'm really excited, uh, as I've said before. <laughs> uh, it's taken a lot of work, um, and um, it's taken work, I think, a lot more work than just doing videos like this because I'm talking and dealing with more of the psychology of, of art and being an illustrator and the practicality of also working from home and just the sort of methods and, and stuff um, related to all things other than creating artwork. I mean, um, it's not a techniques uh, course. Um, and, uh, hopefully I'll have more, more technique, uh, courses or, um, in the future and more courses dealing with, um, dealing with, uh, s sort of unphysical things like, um, like inspiration and, and that kind of thing. And just how to, how to think like an artist, uh, and how to creatively live, I guess. Um, so... The Lamppost Guild, uh, I think, is a really great tool uh, for someone who's not going to a brick-and-mortar um, college. And even if they are, I mean, it's an ex excellent uh, supplemental tool um, because we are professionals, the people on, on the, uh, the Lamppost Guild, the authors and teachers. Uh, we are professionals, and we're bringing stuff um, from... A different perspective obviously because we're different people than your teachers um, and it's also cheaper than going to uh, a brick-and-mortar school and there's nothing wrong with that I think I think there's a lot of questions out there about oh, should I go to art school or should I go to uh, any sort of school like do I need to and and it's all different uh, that's the beauty of of life where we're all at different places and um, we all have different funds, we all have different circumstances, um, and some are in a harder position, some are in an easier position. Um, but I think the best thing to do is look at your position and decide um, what you should do um, and be wise about that. Uh, you know, I would say don't get into debt ever. <laughs> um, you know, uh, that's something as an artist that, uh, you know, wealth just doesn't come because you can draw. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of work and it takes a longevity in this profession. Um, and that's what we're after. Uh, so if you've got this looming debt over your, over your head from art school, I would say, you know, try to avoid that. If you're in that position, you know, there's hope. I mean, there's hope for you. I think there's hope for everyone um, if you can work hard and uh, just keep going. Um, but yeah, I, I went to a liberal arts college, and which I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that I didn't just go to an art school. Um, not because they're, I, I think that they're bad or overpriced, uh, though I do think they're overpriced. Yeah, I will say that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, but this stuff wasn't around uh, when I was looking for education in art. Um, it was not readily available to, available to me in the kind of quality um, um, videos and artists that are posting stuff now. Um, and the most important thing is not where you get your education. I think it's that you get education, that you get knowledge uh from doing and from learning and from reading and watching. Uh, there's so much stuff out there. Um, and 
you just got to have a drive. You've got to have a drive to investigate and to um, educate yourself. Um, so that's, I would say that's one of the biggest things you have to have, um, you know, and it won't, you know, getting this course and watching other courses, they won't do you much good if you don't have that drive. Um, you know, you'll see things and you'll pick up knowledge, uh, but if you're not willing to invest the time in doing and working for yourself on your images and on your art and your craft, um, it's really a waste of time uh, because you, you need that, obviously. Um, that's about it. Uh, I won't talk too much more about the course. Maybe I'll talk more about um, what I'm doing here, the techniques and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just want to say again, I'm really excited for this course and I really want to engage with the people who are um, taking it. Um, and I'll mention this again at the end of the video. Uh, so as you saw before, I drew everything uh, and now I'm scanning it into uh, my computer. And I have put it in Photoshop. I'm working with the levels now, taking away the paper. Um, by increasing the blacks and making the whites wider. Now I am actually selecting the channels, um, which are the color, and, and the white is not selected. And I'll make a new layer and put, um, and uh, drop um, color, usually black, into the channel that's selected on the new layer. And that'll come. That'll make the lines come off the paper. So I'll delete the original image, and I'll have another layer that's just blank white, um, which is what you're seeing here. So this layer, it, and then I'll paint under it. Uh, and it's going pretty fast, but hopefully you'll be able to pick up what I'm doing. If you don't, you can obviously ask me at the bottom of this um, video, and I can share exactly what I'm doing with you. Um, I'm wanting to, this image to be very uh, traditional. You know, obviously it's digital, but uh, we're after something that looks uh, nice and quality and, um, and traditional. <laughs> because that's, you know, that's just something that's built into the culture now, uh, that digital, uh, that traditional is, you know, it works well for kids' books. It's, it's authentic, you know? That's what we're after, or after authenticity, you know. This guy's a real artist because he has real paints um, and not digital brushes that he's that he's faking it with. Um, but that's, that's what I am. I'm just a fake. I'm a fraud, and I use digital brushes sometimes. Um, so, uh, so, but I did at one time use traditional uh, media, and so I know how to sort of fake it better. <laughs> um, so I'm putting in an under under layer of real uh, light uh, yellow um, down. And that's what you saw as the first layer. Then I'll go over it with a sec with a uh, with a little a little browner um, yellow, and I'll go over that. And you know you're sort of selecting what's darker, and um, you're playing with values now. Uh, you know it, it might as well be black and white. Um, because you are, that's what you're, I'm concerned about with right now. I'm concerned about what the values are and uh, where I want my light to be. Um, and this is a tricky technique because it thrives on, well, at least for me, I don't want to speak for everyone. I mean, this is like just the oldest thing in the world. But um, for me, it was it was hard to identify what was working and what wasn't. Uh, I did actually a few of these images and um, I realized that I needed to have the background all sort of never touch the foreground. And that's why we've got the sort of bleed out uh, before you know the bookshelf gets the elephant and the lamp. And um, that's a physical effect. You know, I'm not adding that into Photoshop. Uh, it's an effect to separate stuff because you want clarity in your illustration and you, you know, if you've got all the lines intersecting and 
you can do that, but for this uh, type of style, I wanted it to be um, reflect this sort of traditional uh, methods. And I and I'm I'm I guess I'm seeing this in in older sort of books like Golden Books and that kind of thing. Um, and um, and they all worked in in water media and with lines as well. And so they left this um, white space uh, where the sort of where the underpainting the the yellow painting sort of bled out um, and faded and didn't get all next to each other um, so yeah so I've uh, done that underpainting and I'm adding a little more opaque um, color on top I'm adding blue to the elephants and green to the leaves and um, just sort of those those just basic colors of, you know, I don't want to be as concerned with like, oh, like, what is the final color? Um, but just getting something down. Um, and with this one, I was getting back in the groove of this. So I am kind of concerned with the colors uh, right now. And I, and I really shouldn't be, you know. Uh, I should just be interested in getting colors down on the paper, as it were. Because um, once it's down, you can play, as you see me now, playing with all of the um, uh, the hue and saturation and also the color balance. Uh, those are just like my favorite uh, adjustments on Photoshop because, you know, they just gel all the colors, you know, that and the um, photo filter. So those are my three really go-to um Photoshop tools, Photoshop adjustments. Um, and now I'm just doing really tedious work. I sped this up really fast. It's probably double the speed, uh, maybe even triple the speed. Um, and I feel like it's still long. Uh, but um, hopefully you, this is not throwing anyone off. I'm just laying in color. Um, and the subject matter is interesting because I, I chose an elephant and I didn't really know why. I mean, I thought it was, I don't, I don't know. I have fond memories of Babar, uh, but, uh, this was not intended to be Babar. It's just an elephant in a room, um, uh, which is, like I've said before, the elephant in the room, um, is kind of what this course is about. Like, um, you know, going to a liberal arts school, going to a, a, a college, you know, the elephant in the room for myself was, where are you going to work after you get this degree? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I think that it's pretty appropriate to have this as the course cover. Um, and we'll probably run with this guy. He'll probably show up in, in the course and maybe on a different, a different ad banner or something, but you'll see him around and I'll probably do, um, different characters for different courses. Um, so I have a lot of fun as well with the visuals of the course, and I really want it to to be an enjoyable experience when you take this course. Um, and we'll have uh, different um, downloadable things, activities for you uh, if you take this course, uh, and I'm excited about that. Um, Okay, now's the fun part. Now I'm really gelling the colors. Uh, I'm really, I'm really at this stage liking what's going on. I kind of always shift reds into purples. That maybe it's just a thing that I do. Um, as a, you know, I think, I think it's true that a lot of different artists have a, a sort of a favorite color pass. Um, you know, they have their sort of branded colors, and um, that is not wrong. You do want to be fresh, and you do want to have, um, obviously, a variety in your um, in your work, in your website, in your portfolio. But always nice when there's a bit of a hint, um, you know, that it's you. Um, so right now, I'm really going into um, 
sort of the last uh, page of uh, uh, passive color. Uh, so I'm doing you know a little bit of uh, opaque color over the um, kind of the transparent washes, um, kind of putting more lighter cover colors over over darker colors and darker colors over lighter colors and letting you see the texture and adding some shadows. <clears throat> shadows is really, uh, to have shadows is really important because I'm not, I'm really not throwing in light. I'm going from uh, light to dark. Um, you know, so I'm, I started out this image on the lightest pass. It was yellow. Um, you know, so it stepped down from white to yellow and then to, to brownish. And um, so, so I'm just adding in darker values. <clears throat> and I think in my head, um, you know, I was thinking, this is going to be a totally different image. Um, but it, you know, as you probably know, if you if you've done any art, it uh, changes into something else. And as long as you're okay with that, uh, at the final, you know, it's livable. Um, you know, a picture kind of tells you what it needs after a while, I think. Um, uh, this is my first, like, uh, digital uh, capture of, of my process, and so I'm, I'm zooming in a lot, and I'm zooming out a lot, and it's probably pretty frantic for you watchers, uh, viewers. So I apologize for that, and, uh, you know, I'll try to get better as um, I do more of this. Um... But yeah, I, I really love doing videos and I really love um, interacting with you all um, in the discussions below and also through email and Facebook and um, Instagram. And, um, you know, it's something that uh, I've grown to love. Uh, I never thought that I would like teaching or, or, or explaining what I'm doing, you know. Um, but that's something that I've just grown to really enjoy. Um, and, and I won't say that I'm the best at it uh, by any means. But um, I, I have been uh, given so much from other people in education and in time. Um, and this is such a, a, a nice community, I'll say, um, of artists that were, that were practicing in, in illustration. Um, and I've only met... You know, I've only I've only seen love from people uh, who are are doing professional artwork, um, and so I just want to add to that. I want to add to the culture of illustration and professional artists um, by sharing my experience, by sharing what what I'm doing, and giving content to you guys. Um, and uh, I'm excited I can do this. In, you know, now like. Like I said, I'm I'm not the best illustrator. I, I have no I have no thought that I am the greatest illustrator. And I've I've made it to the top. You know I've I, I know business like nobody else. Um, I'm not kidding myself at all about that. I know I still have a lot to learn, but I I think that I do have a lot to share at the same time. Um, and get conversations started. Uh, and um, there's always someone under you. You know, there's always someone who could benefit from you just talking and you just sharing your your thoughts and your process. So um, I'd encourage you all to, to do that. You know, don't don't talk like you're coming down from the mountain, but um, but be humble and share what you know. Um, and this video could end very soon. So I'll wrap it up. Um, yeah. Go to the Lampos Guild. Uh, sorry, go to my um, uh, website, vendorshipper.com. Check out education and sign up for that um, that notification, uh, and we'll send you um, a discount and information about the course when it launches. Thanks, guys.